you are allowed to omit curly braces when defining the body of an if statement, provided that the body only contains one statement, such as in this example right here. Normally, we would surround this and this with curly braces, but since they only contain one statement each, then this would be allowed. So if we test this, we will not get any errors. You have to be careful with this style though when nesting if statements. Let's take a look at this example. This is allowed because an entire block is considered as one statement. So we don't need to put curly braces around it. My intention here is to nest this if statement here inside this one that says num is greater than zero. And then this else clause is supposed to be connected to this outer if statement. But instead, Java will chain this else clause with this nested if statement instead. It doesn't matter that I indented it this way, because Java doesn't care about indentation. Java will assume that this else clause is connected to this one because it is closer to it. This is called a dangling else and can lead to logic errors because it causes some ambiguity. So let's see what happens here if the value of num is 150. First, we check this condition and it returns true because 150 is greater than 10. And then we go inside its body where we encounter another if statement, which again turns out to be true. So the program will end up printing large. Now, what happens if num is 80? So we evaluate this first. It still gives us true. So we go inside and evaluate the nested if statement. This time we get false. And because Java thinks that this else clause is connected to this nested if statement, the program will then choose to execute this else clause, thereby printing small. Now, what happens if num is 5? I would like for the program to print out small, but that is not what's going to happen because of our dangling else. So first, we evaluate the outer if, and now it gives us false. But then, this else clause is not connected to this outer one. It's connected to this nested if statement instead. And because this outer condition returns false, we don't even go inside its body anymore. So we will just skip this entire thing and we end up printing nothing. If we wanted to make sure that this else clause connects to this outer if statement, then we'll have to use curly braces. So now I am explicitly saying that this else clause is outside of this outer if statement's body. So it doesn't connect to the nested if statement inside it. Instead, it now connects to the outer if statement. So now this returns false because 5 is not greater than 10, and because it's false, 
we end up executing the else clause attached to it. So the program prints out small. As for me, I personally prefer always using curly braces to define my blocks to avoid ambiguity. And now that I've fixed the ambiguity in my code, I could right click anywhere here and then choose format and NetBeans will add the rest of the curly braces for me. It's important that I fix the ambiguity first before choosing format because NetBeans will likely fix it differently if I didn't fix it myself first.